good looks out in both directions. And a big smile there from Mo to kick things off. Royal goes down, Iwiz in response. Very similar look so far. And just slow playing here. No one wants to overcommit. We've seen that a couple times this weekend when a lot is on the line. Players lose their cool. And right now, Morton and Mo just going, let's just cycle in the back for a minute here, guys. Let's slow play into this. This is only game number one of three. Not exactly the mirror match here, so see some differences here. Tank killers are different, champions are different. Mother Witch out for Morton. Morton leaks just about one there. Same on the other side of Mo. And that bar barrel perfectly timed. Mother Witch out of cycle. Graveyard comes in, but he's got poison. Yeah, poison and Mother Witch. That's going to make things very difficult for Mohammed Light as time goes on. Clean King Tower activation there. And he takes some damage for it, but you probably talk to a lot of pros out in the world. They say, I'll take that few hundred damage on either side. I want that King Tower to help me out through the rest of this game. So Poison, Ewiz, Bar Barrel, and Mother Witch, lots of responses to that graveyard when things go down. Ewiz, of course, critical for both players to reset the burn of the Inferno Dragon and the spin of that Mighty Miner's Drill. And that King Tower should help a lot moving through with the deck selection that Morton has looking to get on tower regularly. No ranged units gonna be doing much there. Obviously the Piggies gonna come down, the Royal Ghost gonna come down, but that King Tower is a big pull here. And Mo Light knows that Morton was just about to use that ability. Yeah, really nice Ewiz out of Mo and a Baby Dragon as well to help things out. Mother Witch being played high so far by Morton, so not trying to go for that big turn on the graveyards. Ewiz comes down. The freeze! And that's a big freeze. Morton doesn't want to poison. The freeze comes in. Now the Baby Dragon's on tower. Golden Knight to keep this Mega Knight at bay. And Mohammed Light screams into the lead. 35 seconds left in regulation. NATO to clean all that up. Although Morton will go into our double elixir, into our sudden death pier with a potential elixir advantage. Yeah. Ooh. And Rogo's gonna get on tower here. Inferno and King gonna help out, but Morton narrows that gap. A little less than 200 HP separating these two players at the moment. Bar Barrel to try to help out with that brilliant Mighty Miner play. And now Ram Rider behind, Ewiz as well. Golden Knight trying to play defense here. Ram Rider not gonna connect courtesy of a defensive freeze. But you look at the Elixir difference here, and the biggest thing is, yes, there's a very healthy Baby Dragon on the board. Morton has to play a very strong defense here. No, no trigger is pulled. Baby Dragon does get the splash though. Mo decides to reset. Let's see, does he go high with the Ewiz? And he does, Ewiz to work. Bowler trying to stop the Ewiz from being involved in the game here, but the Mega Knight leaps forward. Ewiz does go off the board. Nice sequence here for Mo. Yeah, no splash damage in there for Morton. 1858 to 1731. Damage done on the right hand side. Maybe gonna see another defensive freeze here. No! Wow! What a there connection! It is. And now that late defensive freeze as well. So Mo starting to fall behind a little bit here as Morton has opened up the first significant lead of about 400 HP. And you can see Morton goes, I am never going to have that poison out of cycle again. I am never going to try to defend in a different way because we saw what happened before. So it's all about Mo trying to bait out that poison by stacking at the bridge. Graveyard down, Mega Knight trying to hold on up top, but again, that Inferno Dragon doing its job. Royal Ghost looking for a distraction up high. Mother Witch taking care of Ewiz in the mix. Mother Witch finally in cycle to deal with that graveyard, but not a lot out of it. And now Mo is piling up on that left-hand side. Dual lane pressure now from Mohammed Light as the focus on the Grand Rider on the right-hand side. The left-hand side wow. turns into a problem for Mo. Mother Witch in the mix. Piggy's on the tower. That bowler lineup was perfect on the Ewiz, but Mo still dealing with a lot. 1354 and 1326. Ram Rider behind. Another defensive freeze in. The dual lane pressure has been huge. 19 seconds left. 1326 to 1314. Right now, Poison trying to make that gap here, but Graveyard in. Is Mother Witch available? She is way in the back. Look at Golden that dash! For a big Look time at the dash! dash. That is Golden Knight dash! Freezes in! Five seconds left! Can the Poison tick enough? Can the Poison? poison it's not gonna do it's it! It's not enough! It's not enough! Mo takes game number one, and he's now one away from being world! G-like 
the old days of yelling at Hulk Hogan through your TV screen, <laughs> just hoping he takes that power into a win. And again, once more, we go from roars to silence. Morton looking like he could be going bait here, could be going drill. Either way, it's going to be something fast. Cannon out to catch that mortar. And Muhammad Light going to mortar once again when everything's on the line. You love to see it because he's been playing so well. And that's a nice King Tower activation early that's going to help Morton quite a bit with those pesky little diggers. I guess that after seeing the log and the cannon, you saw Mo kind of go, oh, what? After seeing the log and the cannon, he assumed there's no way there's NATO in here. And now he knows what he's up against but for a minute he was like wait what the heck golden knight cycled in the back to catch this aq crossing the bridge maybe something else dropped up front no decides to just hit that dash gonna get a good connection but the aq still needs attention Whew. nice pick up there from morton first minute of gameplay away and a little chip in both lanes and now of course mohammed light forced to be a little more conservative with those miners. And that's a great placement there for Morton, even though it is going to give away poison value. Muhammad Light, when the King Tower is activated, he loves to go to that safe spot. It's not the number one spot, it's the safe spot. One tile lower, if you will. That way the King Tower cannot get on top. And Momo has done that time and time again. And so Morton, Belly calling it, not the exact deck here, but Belican said, hey, Drill is what he's been best with lately. And here we go with Morton back to the wall. Maybe a little bit of a, a swerve on the bit on the drill theory, but either way, still with this great win condition in this big moment. Dark Prince here to catch this miner. Valkyrie taking though for the miner and an ice spirit. That Valkyrie gets yeah. a swing, and that is a massive swing. That's a tough call, right? Where do you put that Dark Knight? Uh, the Dark Prince, and he just does not quite get it done. Again, great placement there for Mo. Soaks the charge, keeps the AQ healthy. Morton takes a little bit of chip where and when he can. And now a high executioner does not get on the mortar, though. And now that may, no, it will not splash because of that ability activation. And a great, great Dark Prince there to pick up the rest of it. And now we'll go ahead and do double duty on defense. Create some pressure in the opposite direction. 37 seconds left right now in regulation. Drill going in on that right-hand side will be able to take the attention of Momo's mortar here. Is that Executioner? And Golden that Knight. Golden Knight. That's a nice poison here out of Mo. Golden Knight should go down. Dark Prince has to come out. And Mohammed Light is just keeping the pressure up. And look at that again. Morton calls good game. Wow. Morton just called good game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just not finding any purchase in here. With two minutes left and sudden death, behind by about 1,000 HP, it looks like Morton may be seeing the end. Miner goes to the inside. Morton can just not get on offense. Dark Prince absorbs the Fire Spear. Archer Queen there to hold. And this Archer Queen has just been an absolute problem for Morton. Drill plus Exe on the right-hand side, directly into the Valk. Valkyrie there to catch that Drill. Executioner on top of the Mortar. The Fire Spirit pressure will get a little more chip here. No, picked up by the Dark Prince. And the defensive Miner just to really try to set the tone. Morton needs a miracle here with 80 seconds remaining. He needs Mohammed Light to make a glaring mistake. Uh, he misses the NATO, and that might be the nail in the coffin. Yeah, you understand the idea he was going for there, but the NATO just not pulling the Valkyrie away, instead pulling it directly into that drill. Archer Queen's on the tower! Oh, boy. Mohammed Light is going to be our 2022 champion, unless Morton can turn this around. But he has a mountain to climb. 55 seconds left. Mohammed Light absolutely dialed in just has to defend and this crown is his 45 seconds remain everyone on their feet I'm back here upstage by the booth is there golden knight nato magic available for morton can he make that happen archer queen goes to her ability and now drill does create archer queen's on oh Mohammed light word. is our 2022 world champion the Prince of Egypt, now officially the Pharaoh.